Hi, and welcome to this overview of distance selling pharmacies. My name is Mike Bereza from Voyager Medical. Uh, we run a system called the Hubnet, so H-U-B-N-E-T dot I-O. And we specialize in digital pharmacy and enabling you to meet the regulatory requirements of the CQC, GPHC and MHRA. We do this in a number of ways, um, but essentially we've looked at all of the, um, the requirements of the different regulators and we've created a series of tools to um, enable uh, you to, to meet those uh, those requirements um, but what we're going to look at at the moment is um, the distance selling pharmacy application and what it is is it's split into two aspects you might just want to do um, a private distance selling pharmacy, in which case you would do uh, something called the GPHC, General Pharmaceutical Council um, application, which is simply a form, um, but there's lots of questions which we we, we can help out with at, at Voyager and Hubnet.io. Um, but what we're going to look at here is the, um, is the NHS side of it. So if you want to do an NHS um, contracted distance selling pharmacy in the UK, i.e. doing NHS FP10s. Um, the first stage is really going to the NHS to see if they will allow for a pharmacy. And once they've granted that, that license, then you can go to the GPHC and say, look, we've got this NHS license to do these prescriptions. Can you now allow us to do a, a pharmacy? It's a bit weird, but it's those two things. Um, so kind of in summary to that, if you're just going to do private prescriptions, you just need to go to the GPHC and do a DSP application. However, if you want to do NHS FP10s and the, the green prescriptions that you see, um, normally when you walk into a pharmacy in the UK, you actually need to do the NHS, it's called the PS, PCSE application, and that's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Um, but then also you need to do the GPHC distance selling pharmacy application as well, so you need to do two.